Hey guys, so this is the last episode of my interview with Adam Taylor, who's an interior architecture photographer and used to shoot real estate. And this was one that he, this is a topic that he's really passionate about. It's about licensing and copyright, and he's coming from the company based around these concepts. When I was on retainer for that brick and tile company, um, the first time I realized that you could relicense a photo was uh, an image that I used that I shot for that company uh, had their tiles on the floor and a different tile on a backsplash in a kitchen. And after posting that photo or after that photo kind of made the round, the other tile company that made the backsplash tile reached out to me and said, hey, can we buy this photo from you? Um, and I was like, yeah, of course, you know, like that's awesome. Um, and that kind of like turned the, the switch on, so to speak. And I... I'm almost embarrassed to say that it took me a while to figure that out because I had actually licensed tons of photos in the BMX industry where, you know, I was shooting, I was shooting at X Games, for example, for the magazine that I worked for, but then after the X Games was over, the guy that was on the podium, like his sponsor needed photos for an ad or for, you know, a congratulations post or, or whatever it might be, you know, or before X Games, a company that was going to have a booth at the X Games would need a photo of the rider that they sponsored for posters that they could have sitting out at the booth for the guy to sign or whatever. So I was licensing photos left and right in the BMX industry. Um, and it, for some reason, it just never occurred to me that, you know, there's other companies in a house that need photos of their products installed. So anyways, that was the very first thing. Um, and then fast forward a little bit, shooting for the same tile company, I shot a really nice fireplace that had the tiles all around the fireplace. Um, and while editing the images, there was you know, the logo of the fireplace company on, that, on the, the shot. And so I reached out to them like, hey, would you like to, to license this photo? And they said, sure, and paid me for it. And that was like when the ball started rolling. Um, so at that point I was like, well, how many other photos do I have sitting here that you know, are potential money? Uh, so I just went through my archives and started like pulling images that had logos or that I recognized the, the products and stuff in there. Um, and then just, it kind of you know, snowballed from there. Um, so I became really, really good and proficient at, um, you know, identifying the companies in the shots and then finding the, um, the contact at that company that would be the decision maker, um, you know, to say yes or no if they're going to license a photo, uh, which is, you know, a pretty big feat, like, you know, finding the right person. There's like kind of an art and a science to it that I, you know, kind of figured out and I'm really proud of like the techniques that I've uncovered to, to do that, you know, kind of detective work and stuff. Um, and so once I got really good at it, um, I taught a webinar on the subject with the guys from Shooting Spaces. Um, so it, if you go to shootingspaces.net, you can still go uh, and check out the webinar. It's like, I think 40 bucks to buy and it's about an hour long. Um, so we had 100 people sit in on the live webinar and it went great. Um, and you know, while prepping for the webinar, it was kind of like I needed to you know, gather all this information to present to everybody. And so through that information gathering process, I learned even more and became even better at it. Um, and then through that process of the webinar, uh, other people reached out to me and were like, hey, this is great, but I'm still a little too busy. I don't have the time. Um, I don't enjoy it. You know, like this isn't my deal. Like I'm a shooter. I'm not a, a business person like this. I don't like the negotiation, whatever it was. Um, and so people started asking me if I would help them. Uh, and so at that point, I, you know, light, light went off my head as far as like, hey, this can be another part of my business. Um, and to kind of take a sidestep, uh, my family and I had actually planned to move to Bali for a year. Uh, yeah, and we were supposed to move March 29th. And as you know, um, California went on lockdown, I think March 19th or so, or March 20th-ish. Um, so we were like, you know, less than two weeks out from, from moving across the world. And part of my big plan was once I was in Bali where I'm not legally allowed to shoot and make money, I could still help other people license their photos from abroad. Um, and so that was kind of like a business model that I had brewing in my head. Um, so now that COVID's hit, um, you know, I'm not in Bali, but I've still uh, joined up with other photographers. And so now I have uh, five photographers that I'm working with um, to help license their images. And it's been going really well. And, you know, it's super exciting when, um, you know, all they have to do is hit copy and paste and their photos end up on my Dropbox. And, you know, I'm sitting back sending emails and negotiating prices. And then I can send them a text message saying, hey, you just made a $900 sale. Like you're going to get half that money, you know. Um, so it, it's pretty cool. Hope you guys really, really enjoyed these videos. It's a five part series. Make sure to watch all of them and comment down below what you're still curious on about. I'm gonna have revolving, revolving? 
guests come on and I'm going to have questions with them. It's going to be really, really fun. And I hope you guys will learn a lot from the best and people I look up to. Hope you guys enjoy this. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And um, I think that's about it. Watch the other five videos. And I also post a lot of um, my own videos on this channel. So if you have like a second, just like check those out. That's about it. Bye guys.